Doing good. We've been working this morning. We've already had cows out and everything, and it's crazy. We got some heifers in heat, and these bulls are not happy being separated. And they went nuts when they got out. Hey, there's a bird over in my fire flapping around in it. You see that? Ostrich in fire. See that? What in the world? There is a bird laying in my fire. And she's flapping around in it like it's the funnest thing ever. What in the world? Hey! Weirdo! You need to... She's putting my fire out what she's doing. She's putting my fire out for me. Thank you, sweetie. You're such a good girl to do that. Gosh. I'll just put the fire out myself. I should have never walked away from my fire with these darn birds. <laughs> she was laying down putting my fire out. Ostrich puts fire out, saves ranch. Oh my God. You okay? Look at her underbelly now. She ain't burnt, y'all. She's not burnt, she's singed. She's not burnt, she's only singed. morning folks lester here uh my friends it's early and i've already gotten myself up and i've stretched it all out i did i got up and i stretched it all out and got my muscles going because today i'm gonna put them to the test and i'm not looking forward to it uh you can see behind me over here in the corner we are out of green hay and so we have us a delivery on the way over you guys know that we use our green hay uh, here at this property, obviously for our cows, our goats, even our big birds. And then we also use it at the other property for our goats and our horses, our, the alpaca. Anyway, we are out. Um, we put an order in that will be here today. What we do is we keep it all stored here where we have good dry storage. And then we move a couple of bells over at a time as we need it. Uh, I will say that we're blessed that uh, I was able to contact and get a hold of Uriel. He will be coming over to help me unload. And that's good because this stuff is heavy. It's very, very heavy. These bells are over 100 pounds each. The bottom two rows are not that hard, but getting up a little bit higher than that can be challenging. Anyway, um, you guys... Wish us luck. Do you wish someone luck in unloading a trailer full of green, heavy hay? I wanted, I do want to say this. Thank you to the Facebook supporters. We do not ask for money. I'm trying to find my camera to look you in the eye. We do not ask for money. We don't. We don't want your money. But if you're hard-headed and you insist, I love to show you where your money's being spent. And so today we will spend $2,500 on green hay will buy enough to last us at least through the bulk of the winter, uh, depending on how much we have to feed it. And we're doing that using our Facebook supporter money. So a lot of folks wonder sometimes, where does that $2.49 go? Well, it accumulates is what it does. It, it grows. And every once in a while, we'll make a big purchase and things like this. <sighs> so thank you. But don't do it. You don't have to. I, I always say we will find a way. But thank you, Facebook supporters. So this morning, I'm going to take and clean out all of this old hay. This is stuff that got rained on, never got eaten. And I think the best way to do it is to push it forward. It'll be easier to push all this hay forward into the, into the pasture than try to pull it all out and then push it through the gate. So to do that, what I'm going to have to do is come around here and take off my panels. Uh, the wooden 2x10s that I have, I'll just take these off and be able to push this wire or the hay right out of there. And then I'll put them back where they belong. I think y'all get what I'm talking about. I need two hands.
we have a problem. Uh, we got bulls loose. It's my own fault. My own fault. I'll get them. I'll get them. All right, so we've had our younger bulls escape. Jamie is chasing them down on the side-by-side. -side. Uriel is here, and he's running along. I think he's helping on foot. What I did was put the tractor in front of the entrance to the gate so they can't go down the driveway, uh, and that will keep them off the road. We did leave our gate open because we're expecting the hay guys to be here any minute. Oh, it's all fun and games when Lester's doing jobs and lets out cows. Bulls, whatever, whatever the case is, I don't know. Bovine, no, don't you eat that. Get out of that. No, 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 no. <laughs> why, Santora, why? No, don't you eat that. No, don't. Oh, Fiona, look out. I am not a cow roper person. Uh, listen, I'm simply here to direct you. Fiona, no. No, Fiona. I don't want her to get hurt. I am here to direct them back to where they need to go. Go on. There's not enough room here for me to turn around and do all the things. This isn't a big pasture. It's our yard. And, of course, they've come all the way over here to where the girls are. And let's just be bopping around on his tractor. I put a little bit of feed out for the birds to keep them occupied. I have more feed here in my in a bucket in case we have more birds come up. Here comes the bulls now. Come on. Come on, buddies. Oh, Texas mad. Texas bellowing mad. He's so mad. We can open the front or the back gate. We have two gates we could open. And that may be the best one to open over there. Lord. Oh my goodness. All right. Come on. Suck, 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 suck. Come on. Suck, 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 suck. Come on. All right, here we go. We got it. Come on. You want to eat? Come on. Come on, handsome. So he's such a handsome devil. Where's he at? He is such a handsome bull. Hey, you want to bite? You did a good job. I don't blame you for running out. Here. You want to bite? Come on, Santoro. Come on, little buddy. Oh, Lord. Hurry. We got to hurry. Look, who's coming. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Here. Here. Let's try to distract Tex with that right there. Come on. <laughs> you stop. You stop being on. Look, 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 here's some feed. All right, the birds are fine. He doesn't want anything to eat. Oh my gosh. Woo wee. <sighs> okay. Man. <sighs> All is good. All is good. All right, so Uriel's cutting off the netting on the roll of hay. And then we're going to set it right here in this spot. We got all cleaned out for it. Hey, everybody, for the burn pile. Thank you, Uriel. And we're going to burn all the old hay. Now, this hay here will smolder, my friends. It will smolder. Oh, look, Uriel! Get out of there. <laughs> you sneaky little devil, you. You're not going back in there. You're not. Now, they won't be able to come through once we get the hay set in place. Look out, Trixie. We'll come all the way to the end. You want to try it out? Go ahead. We're going to take and put one more roll in there. Push it all the way up. Go ahead, buddy. And pull high. Yup, that's perfect right there. You like that, buddy? Is it good? Is it yummy? Enjoy. 
Watch the fire. Santoro, get out of the fire. Santoro, come out of the fire, buddy. So what this works is that they can reach their head through on all three sides and eat. And so all three bulls can eat at the same time if they choose to without crowding each other's space. Now, these weirdos over here, this is old hay that I set on fire. Weirdos, hey, let's just not walk through the burning hay. Could we just not walk through the burning hay, please? Uh, this is old hay. And the reason that you burn it off is because it can get insects that live in it. And uh, we don't want to have a bunch of red bugs. Uh, those are called chiggers. You don't want to have chiggers. You don't want to have ticks. And all of those things can live in, well, you know how a lot of folks will put pine straw around their yard in piles? They'll sometimes use it as a landscaping material. Yeah, that's a huge no-no. I don't want you in that fire. It's a fire. Would you just walk away from the fire? You don't want to ever have things that insects can bed up in. And so you burn that stuff off as you need to. Uh, one problem I'm going to have is I also have some hay there alongside the well house that can't stay there. It's uh, It can't stay. But my problem is how do I ever, well, I can't use a tractor. You can't get that close to the well house. That was a really bad idea of placement because you need to always have a way to use your tractor to push stuff out of the way once it, you know, it gets eaten down and begins to decompose. And uh, thank you, Uriel. Uh, he showed up at the right time. We have an additional 60 bells of hay here and I'll play around with it. I'll clean the floor up and stuff a little bit later. And that right there, my friends, was not easy. Blessed to have Uriel here. That took a lot of the workload off. Good. All right, we're gonna send those few bells right there back over to the sanctuary to uh, use for our horses. And uh, now that will last the sanctuary a long time. You know, goats eat about a fl it will about one flake per every three or four goats. So you count on here. You have one, two, three, four. I'm trying to find the natural split. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I bet you there's at least 16 to 20 flakes on there. And so you give the horses two flakes a day, morning and afternoon. And then you, and then we have three horses. The donkeys will, con will consider them horses as well. The alpacas, then the goats will all share a flake. So that's a, that'll be a lot of hay that will last a long time at the sanctuary. About a month, probably. At least a month. Let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.